Hey everyone, uh, my name is Kevin Howard. I am the Ford Aerodynamics Technical Expert. Today I'm coming to you from my home office. Uh, hopefully we're going to take a little bit of time here and show you a little bit about aerodynamics and try and um, give you some ideas on what you can do at home to simulate what we do in aerodynamics uh, on your own as well with help from your parents and your family members. So let's see if we can dig up something to do a little automotive aerodynamics while we're all staying safe at home. So let's see if we can find some things. So aerodynamics is all about controlling the flow as it goes around the vehicle. And in order to understand what the flow is doing, we have to visualize it somehow. And today, what we're gonna try and do is use some household items to help you visualize the flow as it goes around objects. Uh, today, we're gonna try and use it on a vehicle outside. So what do we have for our utensils? So we're gonna, we're gonna pick up a pair of scissors We've got some tape, some masking tape will do just fine. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And then we've got the big bag of stuff. Uh, hopefully lying around, you might have something like yarn. Yarn is, is very good for this implementation. What we're gonna do is try and cut up some strips and then we'll tape it down to the vehicle surface and allow that to visualize what the flow is doing. Now, at, uh, at my house currently, I don't have any yarn, so Doing the engineering aspect, now I have to figure out what can I use to replace the yarn. So I've got this bag here, it's actually full of batteries. I'm not going to use the batteries to uh, help visualize the flow. What I'm going to use is the yarn that is here for the handles. So we'll have that. And then also, if you have um, wrapping material, so like if you're wrapping a present or something, you're going to have some other paper bags and things like that. But actually, if I dig in here a little deeper, I have the ribbons that you use to tie around the package. So we've got some of these bigger ones. Um, hopefully I'll be able to find a smaller one and then we'll cut it up into segments that are, I don't know, roughly three to four inches long. Um, the distance doesn't necessarily matter. It's, um, the shorter it is, the more uh, quick the, the, the streamers are gonna move. And the longer it is, you actually will start to see some uh, of the straight line flow in addition to the fluctuations, as we call it, so the, as the flow moves. So let's go ahead and cut some of these up, and then we'll tape it to the vehicle outside. One thing to think about as you're making your materials are the natural properties of the material. So here, one thing, you can see that this is naturally curved because when we took it off of the cylinder, it had been wrapped on there for an extended period of time, and so it naturally has a shape to it. Um, whereas if we look at yarn, yarn is flexible, right? So it's going to move whichever way the, the wind blows. Um, and so yarn, in this case, is actually the best one to go with, but if you don't have those materials, you can use things like these ribbons or like um, if you had some plastic bags, if you went to the, the grocery store with your parents, you got those plastic bags, you can cut those up into strips and use those as well. Those are gonna be uh, very flexible, but flat. Um, and so there's a lot of materials that you should be able to find at your house that you can use uh, for visualizing the flow. So here we are, this is the bed of my pickup and I have a tonneau cover and we're gonna place all of our streamers onto the bed of this pickup truck so that we can visualize as the flow comes around, what is it doing as it goes across the top of this tonneau cover? I'm sure that you guys have seen, if you've ridden in your parents' pickup or uh, any other vehicles, that material, if it flexes, it's gonna vibrate in the wind and it, it vibrates as the flow goes around the vehicle. Now all we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and use the pieces of material that we put together, that we've trimmed up, we're gonna place that onto the surface here and try and visualize actually what the flow on the surface of the vehicle is doing. So let's put these things on. All right, so now we've got our grid laid out and we've got the different types of materials. And looking at it now, it looks like yarn is gonna do the best at, at monitoring which way the flow is going because the ribbon is very, very rigid and it's based on its size. So. I tried a couple different sizes. Here we've got a thicker one that's probably about a half inch in width. And then we also have a thinner one, which um, is probably about a quarter inch in width. 
And so what we're doing is now that it's in a grid, why don't we go take it for a drive and see if we can see what the flow is doing. All right, so here we are. We're going down the road and we've got the streamers on and you can see now we're going 45 miles an hour. You can see the fluctuations that are occurring and uh, we've got a windy day so there's a lot of variability there and um, as we're going you can see the yarn is flipping back and forth and as we change speed those fluctuations will also increase uh, and it's really based on the ambient wind conditions so if I slow down again back down to here we are at 40 miles an hour you see that the fluctuations are, have been reduced um, but you can play around with the position of these to try and see where the fluctuations are higher or lower uh, you see that center one is is pretty well kept in its place uh, again the ribbon doesn't operate quite as well as the rest of them but uh, the yarn is, is uh, showing some high fluctuations there. So here we'll go back up to speed. You'll see those fluctuations. Now we're going highway speed, and you can actually see the yarn closest to the cab is pointed in, uh, whereas the ones further out are actually pointed more in line with the direction of the vehicle. And that's because we're at, uh, the flow as it goes around the cab of the pickup influences how that wake is formed on the pickup box. Well, thanks for going for the ride with me. Uh, hopefully you found it entertaining and, and a fun learning experience. Um, as you go off to do this on your own, remember first and foremost, safety is key. Uh, always listen to your parents and your family member and friends who might be uh, helping you complete this task. The, the very cool thing about this is that you can place those yarn tufts anywhere on the vehicle. Uh, you can also place them onto things like your bicycle and try and see how the flow is streaming around your bicycle. You can also put them onto things like your, your body or something while you're running and have somebody else watch or put it onto uh, somebody else to, to see how the flow goes around them. Uh, it's very cool the fact that all of this occurs in, in the natural environment. Fluid flow goes around objects. You see the trees moving. Um, that's the wind blowing it. Uh, you, you can also do it by if you have a stream or a creek nearby you can take a, a leaf or something that floats and put it on top of the water surface and you can watch and see how the water actually flows. So there's a lot of options out there for, for learning. So take in uh, the natural environment and, and really utilize it for a learning experience. Uh, well, uh, on that, let's, let's close it out. I thank you for coming along with me. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it again. Uh, remember, stay safe, practice social distancing, and always uh, remember to listen to uh, your parents and friends and and the longer we stay uh, in accordance with what they're saying uh, with the doctors and so forth, uh, the sooner this will all be over. So uh, stay safe, have fun, and happy learning.